Hey, what's up, fellas? Been a long time. What are you working on these days? Feature films, animation shorts, what else? Well, I was super busy with office production hours, and then also super busy on my last year reel. I was planning on working on a short animated film when I got this news about the Oscar insults to the VFX animation community, which resulted in a morale breakdown for a lot of people. That was totally a bad thing to do. No matter what happens, they cannot make films without our help. We are an integral part of the whole process. Anyways, I'm not going to lecture more on what happened and talk about the new short tutorial I created while planning on my short film. This idea of making a few shots look like it's been shot with a handheld camera is super cool. Let's check it out how we did it. Alright, here in my scene I have a, a small Cubana camera. It's a pretty simple scene, there is nothing fancy here. We'll just go inside the camera and see if everything's okay. What we'll do here is we will move the object, we'll animate the object about a few hundred frames and then we will animate the camera accordingly. So it's uh, nothing fancy here, it's basic uh, keyframe animation so I guess I this will be a really wonderful experience. Alright. Here we have started animating the cube in a very simple animation. It's like a, just like a bee flying. It's looking like a very rough animation. Nothing fancy. All right. Now, what 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 we're gonna do is we will animate the whole camera according to the movement of the box, the animation of the box. Because uh, if you look at the films you will see that the camera moves according the movement of the object in the scene. I'll put a plane here so that you can uh, differentiate if uh, the you know the camera is moving with the box because there is uh if we put a plane there which is static we will be able to you know get compare the movements all right the whole camera has been animated just a little bit of tweaks left and we can also you know fine tune this this is just for demonstration purpose how all this thing is done so i'm just uh doing a rough animation here. Alright, here we are. The complete animation of uh, a very basic one, by the way. We'll just go to the graph editor and smooth the camera a little bit. We can either go inside every attribute and uh, smooth them one by one, or there is there are lots of scripts available on the internet which uh, which help make things easy we can uh, either do it that way or we can just go over there select the whole thing there's a script called auto tangent you can find it in, over comet scripts uh, comet scripts dot com i guess so you can just select everything and 
click auto tangent and then further go inside and smooth if you want but yeah that's uh, almost smooth so we can just check now yeah it's uh, it's a rough animation and then it's looking fine it's uh, perfectly fine alright that was a basic one for an object animation if you wanna kinda like a oops uh, kinda like a bee flying or something you know and you want a camera movement but what if we need a character you know a guy who is acting alright here's a plain scene with this guy with this rig called Joe and I'll plant a ca camera here and we'll you know animate Joe a little bit and then we'll accordingly we will also animate the camera everything is keyframe animation keep watching All right, the basic uh, of Joe animation, Joe's animation is uh, almost done. We will fine tune it a little bit here, just to get a uh, you know, so that it, the whole scene looks a little better. It's uh, it's for demonstration purpose, so I'm not going in super detail with the animation here. I'm just uh, trying to show when a character you know acts in the screen and the camera, you know, there is a handheld camera that is in front of him how would uh, the whole scene look like it's just uh... you know just to show that let's uh... animate the hand a little bit so that uh... you know we can get the whole picture about what he is doing in the whole animation. It'll be about a 70 frames animation where he turns up, you know, turns to his left side, and you know looks up, and he says, and he says no, and he turns back again. That's the that's the whole animation. You know, he looks up with his hand, you know, hand is also up. And then we'll put some blinks here so that it looks more appropriate. I'm saying again that this is uh, not an animation tutorial. This is about a camera trick, how to get into handheld cameras in Maya.
Alright, the whole animation has been, I think it's complete. And let's create a, you know, a background static object so that we can differentiate between the camera and the character. If the, char if the, if the camera and the character is moving properly, you know, the static objects will make us differentiate between both of them. So, yeah, it is complete. So, let's uh, play it up. Yep, it is looking perfect. It's looking good. It's looking, uh, you know, like a half hour animation. <laughs> well, there's another trick for handheld animation. Well, that can be done using Maya in a tracking software, which uh, in here we will be using Buju. It is spelled uh, B O U J O U. Buju, yes. It is a 3D tracking device. We can uh, track and a random video. Here I have a you know a video taken with my mobile phone. You know, it's a very simple video of my computer and my room. It's a 30 FPS video, and uh, we will be tracking this whole camera information so that we can uh, apply this in a apply this camera information in Maya. All right, let's uh, let's bring in the scene here. We will import the video that I recorded with my cell phone into this uh, software called Buju. so that we can track the points and get the camera information alright here it is it's all set up and this is what it looks like when it's centered in Boju so now we will uh, track the motion we will track the motion there's some advanced where we will put more locators, those red markers, those are locators and this process is going on it is actually tracking the camera data from there what we can do is these locators will be placed in front of the camera in Maya which will let us uh, have all the information for a realistic handheld camera. Alright, the process is complete. Yep, now we will export the camera from here to Maya. Uh, that is normal. This will go change to Maya file. So my four plus, cool. And uh, all right, everything rest is default, and we will save it. All right, the whole information is safe. Now we have to import the whole thing. Import the camera into Maya. Just a little bit is left. It is pretty exciting. We'll just import the correct camera. Here we go. The whole camera is here with the locators that we saw over there. These small things are locators. If you zoom in, these are small locators. And while we play it, we see that the camera is actually moving. We completely have the data of the original camera that I used. The video that I created. that information is now saved in Maya's camera which is pretty cool we have our realistic handheld camera right here in front of us now let's uh, put a plane just to differentiate if everything is okay and uh, see through our camera the plane's a little bit down so let's put it a little bit up and let's put some you know make it look like a city or something
That's about it. That's the whole panel camera in front of you. Let's put a film resolution gate and make it a HD. Everybody loves HD. All right. Let's, uh, let's take all the, all the polygons and uh, remove the grid. Just uh, play it back. You guys keep watching this, and uh, if you have any problems regarding anything regarding this, please put down a mail or just write a comment or something. Thank you for watching. That's all to it. Subscribe and share. Good night.